Self. Everyone has their own classification of who they are and who others are. What makes someone an individual is their character and surroundings. Their laugh, their smile, their family, their friends. People judge others by their external qualities before getting to know who the person is. Myself. Yourself. Self is in all of us, so by getting to know each other, we are getting to know ourselves. I see you. You see yourself in me. I reflect who you are on the outside, but I can see inside of you. I watch you each morning as you perfect yourself, as you put makeup on, change your outfits, and admire your superficial qualities. I hate that about you, though. How you pay more attention to how you look rather than who you are. The way you lay in bed reading with such concentration. The way you smile and laugh when you talk on the phone. The way you cry and hold on to your blanket when you're sad or when something bad happens. The look in your eyes when you try to hide your disappointment. The frown that appears between your eyebrows when you're angry. That is you. And this is me. All the emotions that appear on your face represent the kind of person you are. These are more important than the makeup you use to cover your flaws. The splendor on the inside is revealed on the surface, if it's not concealed by a disguise of disapproval. Disappointment merely reflects an unattractive reflection, while satisfaction reveals absolute beauty. Security. It's a necessity that all humans require to live comfortably, to feel safe and secure, warm and protected. Being able to know that someone will be there to hear a scream or to call for help assures safety in itself. We don't have to second guess the feeling of being secure or not. It's a natural awareness. We know when we're scared, when we're at ease, and when we need help. We own our emotions and we control our voice to let them out. I am your shield. I am your warmth. I protect you from the cold and from the monsters under your bed. I hug you when you're sad, when you're shivering, when you're watching a movie. You let me wrap myself effortlessly around you to defend you from the harshness of the world. I know your scent and your sleeping habits, your grip and your tears. I understand when you need me, and I'll always be there. This is me. My soft exterior envelops my inner warmth so I can shelter you comfortably. When you're not using me, I lay where you left me, on the sofa, on the bed, on the shelf. I cannot move without your touch. I cannot feel without your warmth. I become a lifeless entity with no purpose. Words. All over the world, they are used. They are made up of different sounds, but all offer the same meanings. They are made up of different letters and different strokes. They can be excited, sad, angry, happy, disappointed, apathetic. They represent our progress, our education, and our evolution. The way we live and the things we have learned are all thanks to the power of words. One word, or maybe two, or three, or even hundreds, or thousands. They teach, they send messages, they convey feelings. I hold these words. I hold them so people can read. I travel around the world with these words imprinted onto me. Your tears have fallen on me. You've crumpled me up. You've thrown me in the fire and in the trash and you've ripped me to shreds with your hands of frustration. I get critiqued, and your eyes pour over me, trying to find deeper meanings. I recreate your memories, and I house new beliefs. I keep your secrets, and I store your notes. This is me. I am everywhere, and I am a part of everything. I rip, I tear, I burn, I cut. I shred, I fold. I can do everything. I am here to inform, to share, and to entertain. I am here to remember and to conserve words and to set ideas and emotions free. Mistakes. We all make them, but we don't want to. 
Whether or not we understand why they are made or how to overcome them, they are essential parts of each and every one of our lives. They are made every day and they can't be avoided. Sometimes we know they are being made, but we don't do anything to stop them. Other times, they merely happen, but we want to forget them. Things happen for a reason, and mistakes are just one of those things. I can fix them, though. I can turn demands into questions, one word into two, and mistakes into intentions. I am shared. I am tossed around. I come in different forms and different qualities. I help you write an essay, draw a painting, and ace a test. I shrink and I weaken until I am of no more use. Then I am gone. I have fixed all your mistakes I was capable of. My passing shows that I was utilized. Without me, goals would be difficult to accomplish. This is me. We, as a world, share the desire to fix our mistakes. We don't want flaws or errors displayed to the world. The more mistakes we make, the more it gets ingrained into our minds that we no longer need to conduct those same actions. We learn from our mistakes and from others. We improve by taking into consideration our past to make our future better. And we regret, but regret need not be present. It is only the brainchild of mistakes and paranoia. It should cease to exist. The mistakes we make should be taken in stride. We are silhouetted by our flaws, which shape who we are and who we will become. Growth. It's the aging of objects and the development of beliefs, the budding of personas and the absorption of influence. Steps are taken one by one along a changing path that branches off to different routes in the future, depending on what actions are taken in the present. The desire to grow, whether from a child to an adult or from a seed to a flower, drives the increasing maturity levels. However, if growth occurs too rapidly, youth, that can never be re-experienced, dies away. I grow with a person. I change when they change. From flashing lights with each step to getting taller without growing, I evolve. I get worn down and around. I carry them to old memories and new possibilities. I am always there and always needed. I protect, I comfort, I lead. I injure, I ache, I follow. This is me. I sat in a box on a shelf surrounded by hundreds of others like me. There were different colors, sizes, and shapes. Why would I get chosen? But one day the box opened and I saw you. You took me home and I was yours. I'll always be yours. Down the road of life, through mud and rain, through tears and distress, I'll be there. I need you. You give me motion. You give me grace. You give me life.